Hello students, in today's session we are starting with the next practical that is study of water sample collected from different water bodies for their pH and clarity. So what is this pH stand for? This pH is denoting potential or power of hydrogen that is a scale used to specify the acidity or basicity of aqueous solutions. So acidic solution are measured to have lower pH values than basic or alkaline solution. So our today's aim is to study water sample for measuring pH and clarity. So in this session we are going to do this pH test of water sample. Either we can do with litmus paper and here I am going to use this universal indicator. So for our experiment here I had taken water sample from different sources. You can see this is lake water. This water is collected from well. This is swimming pool water. Sea water. Pond water. This is distilled water. I had taken tap water. And this is universal indicator. And here you can see this is the pH scale. So here you can see this is the image of water bottle of this universal indicator and this is the pH scale. With the help of this we are going to find the pH value of the taken water sample. Now let's start with the experiments. Here these are the clean test tubes which I am going to use to find the pH of the water sample. So first of all here I am going to take this lake water. So this is the lake water and I will take around 10-15 milli of water in this test tube. Yes. And here I will add few drops, one or two drops of universal indicator. Yes, this is universal indicator. So I had taken this and you can see how the color is changing. Yes, observe the color change and we are going to match it with the help of pH color chart. So here I have this pH color chart and I am going to match this. Yes, lake water you can see the pH is 7.5. So the lake water pH is 7.5. So in this way here even from here also I can match. This is also the color chart. Yes. So I am using this from this bottle color. So this is what 7.5. So you can note down 7.5 is the pH of lake water that is alkaline. So lake water is alkaline in nature. Now next first of all I have to wash this dropper in this clean water and then I am going to take next sample that is well water. You can see this is well water. So you have to take around 10 milli or 10 to 15 milli of this well water in the test tube. Then with the help of dropper add 2 to 3 drops of this universal indicator in this and you can see now the change in color. So observe the color change and match it again with the pH chart. So here is the pH chart. Again I am going to match this and now you can see now this is 8.5 yes this is what 8.5 is the pH of well water so in this way always uh, we are we should record our observation and uh, we have to see the color change in the water sample after adding this indicator and we have to match it with the pH color chart. Now again I am going to wash my dropper and then next sample that is swimming pool water. 
I have to take this swimming pool water. 10 to 15 milli of water sample. This is swimming pool water. Swimming pool water. Yes. Now again I am going to add 2 to 3 drops of this indicator in this. You can see how the color is changing. Again observe the color change and match it with the pH color chart. Easily you can identify this is the pH is 5. Yes, this is the pH second one. pH is little reddish color. So, this is what the pH. So, you have to record your observation and this is the swimming pool waters reading. Now next, again I have to wash my dropper in the clean water and now I am going to take this sea water. So I have taken here 10 to 15 milli of this sea water and now I am going to add few drops of universal indicator in this. And you can see how the color is changing here. So observe the color change and match it with the pH color chart. Again, firstly shake it well. You can observe the pH is 9. So this is the pH of sea water. Record your observation. pH of sea water is 9. Now next water sample, again you have to clean your dropper and now in the test tube, I am going to take this pond water. So take the pond water in the test tube yes. So this is the pond water, here I am going to add few drops of universal indicator, yes to it and you can observe the color change and again match it with the color of this pH chart. So here we are matching it with the pH color chart and you can observe the color. So you can see the color of this pond water is 8.5. Record your observation. pH of pond water 8.5. Now I am going to take next water sample that is distilled water. So again I have to clean my dropper in the fresh water, clean water. And now I will take here 10 to 15 milli of this distilled water. So this is my distilled water and here I will add few drops of universal indicator in this. You can observe the color change. Yes, so observe the color change and match it with the pH color chart. You can see here the pH of distilled water is 7. Yes, so the pH of distilled water is 7 that is neutral. So in this way we had studied the pH of different water sample. And in general with the low pH less than 7 could be acidic and with greater than 7 is considered basic or alkaline and pH 7 is neutral. And normal range of pH in surface water system that is 6 to 8.5. So in this way you have seen your observation and recorded your observation 
where I had collected water sample from different sources have different pH values. And here as I had taken the water sample like lake water, well water, swimming pool, sea water, pond water and distilled water. So in this way we had studied the pH of different water sample and we had seen the pH of water is an indicator of impurities. Yes, pure water has neutral pH that we had seen in distilled water the pH is 7 and pH less than 7 that indicates acidic nature that we had find swimming pool water. It appeared little red color. Yes, so pH of swimming pool water it is 5 and pH more than 7 indicates alkaline nature as we had seen the pH of sea water, lake water, it was alkaline in nature. While doing this experiment, you have to follow certain precautions. Like you have to take this clean and dry test tubes. Here I had taken universal indicator for my experiment. You can do this experiment with pH paper also. So if you are using pH paper for your experiment, Dry the pH paper before comparing the color with the color scale. So how you can do with the pH paper? So if you are doing your experiment with pH paper, simply you have to take one strip of pH paper and you have to dip in these water sample. Yes. And what you are going to find again color change. Yes. But here precaution what you have to take? Like you have to dry the pH paper before comparing the color with the color scale and again in the same way you have to observe the color change on the pH paper and match it with this color chart or on the pH paper also the color scale is there yes another precaution what you are going to take that is you have to match the color carefully and determine the pH accurately and other precaution that is you have to match the color carefully and determine the pH accurately. So in this way we had completed with our experiment where we had observed the color change and uh, then after that we had uh, matched the resultant color with color code on the pH color strip and then we had identified the pH and noted it. Yes, here you can see in this chart, here certain sample, water sample. So here 1, 2, 3, 4. I had taken here 6 sample. You can take any 4 sample and you have to note the pH and then you can write its nature like the water is acidic or basic or neutral.